That was 28 years ago, and that's how an actor named Ronald Reagan chose to open up the section called Fantasyland at a new place called Disneyland. He sure has changed since then. Whatever happened to him? I think he's living out his fantasy. Things have changed a lot since then, especially here at Fantasyland. It's all new, and we're going to show it to you tonight. Tonight, we're going to show you the new Fantasyland. We're also going to take you halfway around the world. This is quite an event here. There are thousands of people here tonight, and this signifies the opening of Fantasyland. And as you will look around, you'll see it's designed somewhat like a Bavarian village, which is befitting the home of our good friend Pinocchio. It opened this morning officially with full festivities, and it was not much different than when it opened in 1955. Here's what it looked like this morning. This morning, a rare scene in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle. For only the second time, just as it was in Disneyland's opening day in 1955, the castle's drawbridge was raised, then ceremoniously lowered for the entry of thousands of visitors. But I will return. Many of today's visitors were, in fact, the same children who first crossed the Fantasyland drawbridge 28 years ago. Today, a whole new generation of children help the festivities along with the aid of a veritable army of Disney characters. One thing Walt Disney promised when he opened Disneyland, the master showman said his theme park would never be completed. And the pictures you now see are proof positive. Disney vowed that Disneyland would never be just another amusement park. But time and technology did catch up with some original Fantasyland rides. The Imagineers behind Disneyland have made enormous strides since 1955. Advancements in audio animatronics, in laser technology, and in holograms made it a necessity to revamp the bulk of attractions in Fantasyland. Hi -ho, hi -ho, it's home from Earth we go. And here's just a sampling of what you can expect the next time you visit the Magic Kingdom. The building of New Fantasyland actually took about two years, from original storyboarding and engineering of new attractions to actual construction, which is only now coming to a close. So complete is the rebuilding and so elaborate the new rides that many old Fantasyland favorites were forced to slightly different locations. King Arthur's Carousel and the Mad Tea Party aren't exactly where you found them before, but rest assured, they're better than ever. We've already shown you most of the old favorites, but if you like Alice in Wonderland, you'll have to wait until the summer of 1984. Sitting on a 